All right, what's going on, everyone? We have a new pack, and I wanted to talk about it. I think this is interesting. Uh, before we get into this, I just want to make clear that I'm not a sponsored creator. I don't have a creator code. I'm not here to uh, sell this to you. Just want to give my honest opinion. So, let's talk about this. This is the Season 7 Elite Pack, right? It's $10 USD. That will change, of course, based on your currency. But $10 USD, if we go to buy credits, we will find that $10 USD will get us 1100 credits so what that means is in order for this to be worth it the items need to be worth more than that because if the items were worth let's say 700 credits total there's no reason to buy this you can just buy credits and then go on a trading site and get them for cheaper so this has to be worth more than 1100 credits to be worth it from a from a value perspective so purple fennec currently worth about 900 credits uh, 800 to a thousand is typically what these go for so that's already pretty close to the price interstellar currently worth about 1300 credits so that alone is actually worth more than the pack price this is actually the cheapest way to get interstellar um if you want to get interstellar uh, it's actually the cheapest to get it here in this pack right now dark matter is um, essentially worthless it's worth like 50 credits and I don't know if anyone's trading it because it's just a bulk item no one cares same with truth beam I think it's worth 100 credits but um not super popular atomizer we'll look at it here uh, I'm gonna get off of it so the, the noise isn't too loud but uh, atomizer even though it's a black market goal explosion only worth about 100 credits or so and pulse crawler technically it is worth 300 credits I don't know who's paying that. Um, I would say this is not worth 300 credits. You shouldn't be paying $300 for a player banner. There are so many cool ones. But technically, if you wanted it, it'd be 300 credits. So the total value in the items is about 2,800 credits. So it is a good deal if you're purely looking at how much you're paying versus the market value of the items. However, a very, very important note here, everyone. Be aware that when you buy stuff in the store like this, right, you see down here, these items are locked on your account. So you cannot buy this pack, flip the items, and make your credits back and then some, right? Like, you can't buy this for $10 or 1,100 credits, sell this for 1,300, profit 200 credits, and get this stuff for free because uh, this Interstellar is locked on your account. So yeah, that's uh, from a value perspective, worth it. Uh, is it worth your $10 for these items? Obviously that depends on whether you like the items, but they are technically worth more than what you're paying. So let's look at some designs. I have them lined up here. So this is all of the items. We have the decal. Um, we have the purple Fennec. Just wanted to show you all the items on one car. We're using, uh, you don't get the wheels. You don't get any wheels with this pack. Uh, we have the boost. So that kind of matches, uh, depends on your screen settings. On my laptop, this does not match at all. On my uh, on my PC, on my big screen, looks great. So that, that, that's going to depend. The issue with, uh, the issue with uh, designing cars is they look different depending on the monitor. Um, this doesn't match quite as well, but you know, it, it's, it's all the items. Of course, got the goal explosion, which uh, is not bad. Not bad at all. Um, on the red side, so something I want to talk about with interstellar is i do not like interstellar on red side unless it's this exact combination so interstellar on red side it just there's lots of like browns and and just ugly colors that get added in like like if we do this like i don't know it's okay i guess i'm not a big fan of all these like i don't know all, all these colors that get added like even if you do like a pink and like a i don't know a white like this looks okay right now but if you wait long enough, there, you start getting these browns that work themselves in. And I, I don't know, it, it's not my favorite decal on uh, on, on orange side. I, I tend to not use it that much. I mean, it's okay. Like, this looks kind of cool. It's kind of fiery. It's not bad. But on on a red side, I typically do something like this. I just like the really dark red. So I just wanted to show you that. Here, I just wanted to show you designs with the purple fennec not caring about uh the interstellar so if you just want the purple fennec um this was a decal that we got in the red hot bundle so you might have this if you buy these bundles regularly so yeah not bad not bad kind of works on the flip side so this is interesting i wanted to design this 
around the trail because the trail has some pretty weird colors it has this blue in the center it trails off to this orange and purple so i put this together and it doesn't look bad especially on the field if we put the boost on too i have power shot which also has a lot of these same colors let me jump in uh let me jump in a uh, in the end game really quick i just want to show you how these colors work um end game so the blue looks pretty weird the blue looks weird right like we have this car you would think it would just be purple having that blue but when we get uh when we get supersonic right like now we can see all the colors we have the blue stripe on the side We've got the power shot all the same colors so it kind of works i'm i'm kind of a fan of it even though i think that blue stripe is very strange um i mean i think this looks pretty cool going supersonic it just makes sense uh with that blue down the center um i'm kind of a fan of it so that's that's interesting weird color combination but uh, all the items kind of work together when i first made it i was like man this blue stripe is killing me because you could if you wanted to if you wanted to you could switch this to purple right you could go like down here and that just makes so much more sense the purple matches like this car matches better um i would say just standing here right now this is the better car with this with uh with this purple line here matching the purple trim that's just better going to this blue it's just weird it's a weird weird thing to do the blue doesn't make sense until you have uh you know the boost with the blues in it and the trail with the blue line in it and then it makes sense so don't hate it here we have interstellar with uh without the fennec if you just want to use the interstellar on other cars um we have again i just like this red black i have a, a crimson uh, uh octane so do a crimson octane here on the red side flip side this is my favorite color combination with interstellar interstellar does some really interesting stuff with colors and again how you see these colors morphing around and typically when i play interstellar it's this color combination which is a very weird set of colors it is it is a very dark purple up here and it, it looks uh aqua it's actually the teal color here just muted i i prefer this muted i you can go here and it's way brighter but i actually prefer this really subtle um subtle blue here so this is just a color combination that i use and interstellar is really cool with uh you know how it blends colors and stuff um i definitely recommend just experimenting with like even stuff that you wouldn't expect to be cool like just doing like a uh like a pale blue up here and then like a a, a, a lighter like a, something like this can be really cool right like look how cool that looks or a, a more vibrant blue obviously the purple does the purple trim doesn't make sense anymore but yeah just uh showing you interstellar is pretty cool does some pretty cool stuff here i just wanted to show some different colors uh we have a uh, blue and orange on blue side looking pretty cool kind of like this color combination as well again you, you definitely got to experiment with a uh, with the uh, different colors with this car over here we have uh this is kind of hideous but you know just trying to again i hate these these like oranges and stuff that appear on the red side but you know it, it is what it is don't really like this like this though this is pretty cool and then this is something that i wanted to talk about because some people don't understand again this is my my preferred color combination just to show um we have this we have the 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 dark teal but what people don't seem to understand i've seen other people comment this on like other people's videos and stuff is they don't understand that you can have different decals on both sides so this is just something to be aware of newer players might not know this for some reason um i guess it's not never really taught to you i, I don't ever remember a time when the game was like hey did you know you can do this but uh if you want to apply a different decal to another car you can right click on pc i don't know what it is on uh on on consoles and stuff but you can just you know I, I can apply this to blue and and now we have this on blue and i can apply this to orange and and now we have this on orange um this is not how this is supposed to look but um this on blue this on orange and a lot of people just don't know that so this is the car that i actually use um this is a design that i use this is my preferred interstellar um color combination white fennec white zombas really like this side over here we have the white fennec crimson mainframe dark red look doesn't look too dark but it's it's a fairly dark red it's uh it's down here not the darkest red but pretty dark red with a uh, black stern wheels 
and I actually use this car quite a bit. And I just wanted to show this really quick. Um, these wheels, how good it looks is gonna depend on your monitor. On my laptop, these are super washed out and they look like crap and I hate them. But on my uh, on, on my monitor, it's much more saturated and it looks really good actually. So depending on your monitor settings, um, this either looks amazing or terrible. I wish these wheels were just darker in the center, but um, just a, a, an interesting design using uh, blue and purple with these purple wheels that we got. Once again, I think we got these in the Red Hot bundle. So you might have these once again if you have, um, if you buy these bundles a lot. So I'm going to play this car just so you can see all of the items in game. All right, so my internet is absolute trash. So we're going to play against the Necto bots, which are honestly better than me anyway. Are they working? All right, good. Nice. So look at this decal in game, right? Looks pretty good. Uh, I need to get this. Um, the the trail doesn't 100% match this color combination, but I, I'm not even I'm barely playing. Sorry, but uh, no, it looks pretty good. Huh? Nope. Nope. Necto sucks. Necto sucks. Um, I just haven't been able to play ranked, unfortunately. My internet is absolutely terrible it's hard just to upload videos um i have played against necto quite a bit just because i, I want to play and uh i, I just can't because my internet's so bad but these necto bots are actually good enough that i can play against bots and not feel like it's a total waste of time that's nice uh no get it nice so yeah, I, I say they're they're pretty good and that bot just totally, and I guess it was, it was awkward with the bounce. I probably would have done the same thing, to be fair. But I'm I'm like rarely, oh God, this is awkward. Oh, oh, that don't get to do it, do the thing. Um, oh, that, that was, just, it actually messed me up just a little bit. Hup. Um, but I'm rarely MVP of these games. Uh, Necto is just actually better than me. And this isn't even, the crazy bot that like all the big content creators are playing. Uh, Nexto is the the absolutely insane one. This is more of a like I don't know diamond champ level bot. Um. So yeah, it's not the top bot, but it's better. Th okay, it's better than me. Uh, which is all that matters. It means I could play against it and not feel like I'm playing against the the stock bots that could barely hit the ball nice nice all right I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this boost over here huh. well I bumped him off I think this is out could have touch it anyway crap I have no boost get over here oh my god Let's, uh, let's not talk about that. Let's uh, not talk about that at all. It's just embarrassing. Got the boost. Alright, guys. Guys, what have you done? It's all your fault. Definitely not me for totally, totally whiffing that aerial. Definitely not me. But look how good this car looks. I mean, you know, purple is uh, not my favorite color, but Interstellar is just a, a very cool decal, in my opinion. I dang it, I just, I misread it and then it was awkward. Get this out from in front of the net. I have no boost. I can do this. I have no boost. Do something. I can't do anything. Nice. Crap, I wanted to just hit it to the side. God dang it. I'm so bad. Alright, Hector, let's you. Alright, it's clear I have no boost. Go. Give me. Can't have it, it's mine. Oh god. That was so bad. I didn't think they would go. Huh. They're so good at reacting, it's crazy.
No. No. No, but look how good my car looks. Looks pretty good. Um, I would probably, if I was driving this car... Uh, well, crap. I messed up my, my speed flip. Uh, that's probably a goal, isn't it? Nope. Nope, it's not. Get it. Get it out. Okay. I'm so bad. Oh, God dang it. How did they recover that fast? How? They're so dumb. It's it's dumb how like good they are at recovering and stuff. It's insane. I was gonna say, purple is not my not my, not my color. Crap, nope, I messed up. I messed up. Um I wanted to go for that, I don't think I could though. No, I I just keep I keep challenging way too early. I mean they're they're well known. These bots are known for being like insanely good at flicking it over people. But no, it's not. It's been on me. Whew. Oh my god. Go! Why was there no one there? Oh, we're gonna lose, aren't we? Hang on. There's a chance. They do keep it up. Oh. Ugh. No! Well, see, I lost the bot, so... Oh, yeah, I messed up their their, dec their uh, presets, and I, I don't know how to get it back to the default. So I, I had to design that preset for them. So that's... Yeah, I'm at the bottom of the leaderboard. So that's that's nice. So is the pack worth it? Um, Obviously, that just depends on you. Do, do you want to spend $10 on this stuff? From a value perspective, yes. But obviously, that's still up to you. Like, if you don't care about Interstellar, it's not worth it. If you're only interested in, like, the Atomizer Ghoul Explosion, you can get it for, like, 100 credits. But, you know, it, from a value perspective, it's worth it. And, you know, uh, th that that's about all I can say. It, it's not bad. So there you go. That's all. I just, just wanted to, to put that info out there. Hopefully that's useful. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.